Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go to my... Um, I've put this on the programs folder. I created another folder, <clears throat> so you don't have to, you can just put them in the root directory if you like. Yeah, put them in the root directory. Um, I just created a folder called node batch files. Okay, and in here I've created a few batch files. Okay, so what well, you just create these with notepad. So if I went start, uh, I'll just open up notepad here. Okay, I'll just edit, show you this one. I'll go edit, go run, and that's all I've typed into notepad. Okay, I've gone x bin lwsn.exe. That's where it finds. In here, if we go to the program folder bin, in here is you'll find the LWSN program. That's a lightweight screw in that program. Okay, so that's just telling it, I'll bring it back up, that's just telling it where that program is and what version it is. Okay, and this next line is telling us where, okay, the X, that's where the config files are. So remember the config file that we made, so if I go back here, config, that's where these config folders are, okay, and the command, okay, so the command folder, again, if you look down here, there's the command folder, and um, so you've got x command, and you've got, so that's the job and the ack. Now, for each computer, that number changes, okay, so this is the first computer which I'll run this bat file. And you've got to go, when you file it, you go file, save as, and make sure you put dot bat on the end. So I'll make this computer 4, because I've got 3 there already, so computer. And I'll go computer 4, and I'll make it, uh, it already knows it's a dot bat, so but dot bat, and go save. Okay? So, but what I would have to do, is I'm just going to change that to 4, and that to four. Okay, they need to be dot bat so they're batch files that execute. Okay, so I'll just save that. And I'll just shut that down for a second. So if I go back to my, so I've got number four there. If I open up number two, let's go edit, run. Notice it has, um, where have I got here? Job two, act number two. Okay, I'll shut that down. I'll open up number three, edit, run. Okay, job three. So that's just how I set it up. So, and you run this on each computer. So this is the first computer. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so what you need to do is on the other computers that you want to use, you go through that whole process of um, mapping the network drive. You just map them to this network drive. You don't have to create the new folders. You map them to the network drive on this computer. Okay, so you go to your next computer, you set up your map network drive, and you select this this uh, one here and this one here. And when you run it, say I'm running this from computer number two, uh, I just open it up, <coughs> it'll appear as a network drive on the second computer, and you just run computer number two. On the first computer, you run computer number one. Okay, you have to run it from the computer that you want to use. Okay, I can't sit here on the one computer and run that one, run that one, and run that one. Okay, what I do is on the first computer, say so this computer here, I double click and go run. Okay, then I go to the next computer, select the network drive. Okay, and then run that batch file from that computer. I can't stress that enough, as you can probably tell. You have to run it from the separate computers. Okay, so that's initializing. Okay, so what I can do now is um, if I had another computer, I could just pause this and go out and put another com computer on. I, will do, I might do that. I'll just pause it. I'll go out to another computer. It's actually in another room, and I'll um, get it running as well. Okay, so I've got the other computer running as well, so I'm just going to go to Lightwave. Okay, I've got a couple of ones open here. I just to, I'll just shut these down for a second. So save and exit, save and exit that one. I just want to make sure I'm opening up the right one because I've seen I had a couple open. I'm just going to go to my content, 3D, scenes. 
oops, wrong one. Masters, grab that one. That's the one we set up. Okay, again, I can I can go to um, hit O for options just to make sure my path is right. Yep, it's the M drive. Yep, the path is right. And we'll just go to. If you had to change that, remember to shut it, shut it down and open it up again. Okay, and I'll go to my render globals again. It's only set it low because um, sorry. Um, the camera, what's it set at? Oh, it's only set at 640 by 480. We could whack that up if we wanted to. Okay, I'll just leave it on that for a moment because this is just a test. RGB files, yep, it's set on the M drive, so that's all good. Okay, so now if I go to my network render, okay, I'll just go down here, network render. Okay, seeing I've got those two batch files running, okay. See, so my command directory is wrong. Okay? Command directory here is wrong. We don't want that command directory. So that's that's good that that's come up like that. So if I click on here, I need to go and set my command directory to that um, program. Okay, so I have to select that. that there, there we go. Command. Okay. So... Okay, and we go to reinitialize, yes. Okay, now it's picking up those two CPUs. You have to make sure that that is on that right directory or it won't work. It says two, two available ScreenNet CPUs were detected because I've run the one on this computer. And you don't have to run it on the host computer. You could just, if you wanted to keep working on your computer and you had a few other computers you want to do the rendering, well, you just don't run the batch file on your computer. Okay, yeah, just run on the other computers. Okay, now I need to add the scene to the list. So I'll just add the scene I want to do. Okay, go masters. There. Okay. What I'm, um, it should be okay, yep. So I'll just, what I'll do, once I've got that, it's telling me because I've only got those particular frames being rendered. Okay, I'll just go screamer render. Okay, and it picked up from that scene file because we we've already opened it up before and then shut it down to get the config files to tell it to render into that network drive. Okay, I'll just if you see it, do it really quick, render the frames really quickly, um, and without loading up properly, it means it can't find it. It's going to render fairly quickly at the moment because it's at 640 by 480. Okay, so I've got a couple going there. That first one's just taking a bit longer because it has to load up over the network. The, the I mean this one here, the, the first one's actually this local computer. Okay, what I, I tend to do is just to make sure it's working. If we just go to, um, I'll just grab a, one of these, wait a sec. Okay, we'll drag this over here because it's rendering away. Now we know it's rendering to this content folder, HMA 3D renders. Have a look. Uh, look. So those files. If no files are appearing there, it means it's not working. Okay. 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 So they're 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 appearing there. So it's rendering away. I can right click and go open with Windows Photo Viewer. Okay. As you can see, and I just click through. Yep. Oh, they're all rendering away. Okay. So that's basically it. Once you set that up, you can set up a whole, add more scenes to your list before you start your render if you want. I'll just cancel this render because you don't want to render that out. You can add, it, you can add as many scenes as, as you want before you um, start the rendering and it'll just go through and render them and work its way through. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm just going to go scream a shutdown. What this does, it'll shut down the CPUs. Yes. offline and it'll take them offline and just shut it down so that's pretty much how to get windows 7 um and screaming it working on windows 7 for lightwave 11 okay there are probably other ways to do it but this way works for me so have a great day and i'll uh, catch us next time